Well, it started last year. Um, Joey Belladonna from Anthrax uh, played a show here, and I was said to Randy, my boss, the owner of the Montage, to say, "Hey, um, got Joey Belladonna on the 10th." I'm like, "Dude, the 9th is my birthday, and..." Um, can we do this as a Oz's birthday bash, you know? And Randy's like, dude, I don't see a problem with that. So that's actually last year was the birth of the Oz birthday bash. My best. You know, I like. Uh, I mean, where can I start? I mean, Metallica. Like I had this patch when I was a kid. Metallica, one of my first it was actual like thrash metal bands I got into. Like who didn't like get into Metallica? Um, Danzig. I mean, I had probably like four of these patches since I was like 10 years old. I don't know. It's part of me. It's something like something that I love. Metal is what I love. I lived my life in metal. You just kind of feel metal, you know. <laughs> I, I I don't really know. Tyler. Yeah. Well, it's Act natural, like we're not even being filmed. <laughs> What's your favorite genre of metal? Fuck you. I like black metal because it's grim and make, gives me goosebumps. I like grindcore because it's really fast. And it's like being on a roller coaster in a tornado. I like death metal because it's like a warm, soft blanket that's somehow gooey. Um, there's change, huh? When it got more socially acceptable, there's like kind of like Fox metal, F A U X, like there's like palatable metal now, and that's not really acceptable. You know, it used to be when you liked Metallica, it was the only dude you knew who liked Metallica and two other people, and then I'm not one of those people who's tries to keep everything underground because it's cool. It's just something I've observed over my life. What kind of metal do you guys listen to? Underground. Underground metal. Underground. The people are more it's real about real. it. Yeah. <laughs> you get people who care, yeah. People care about it more. Much more than music. It's a way of life. We don't pose. Definitely. <laughs> CD box in my car consists of mostly 80s thrash metal with a lot of uh, with a mix of early 90s death metal, like a death, morbid angel, geese stuff. Why? Because it fits. I feel like I want to be tough. All right, I'm done with that. I originally thought I was getting into hair metal, but I wasn't. And I listened to real hair metal, like Poison, and it was absolutely terrible. And I'm glad it wasn't that. So, I don't know. I dig it. It makes me feel nice. I don't It's. I don't know. It's my personal preference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here? Because I'm in a metal oh, band. I was bored. I'm Just ask him a question. Yeah. Uh, 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 is this a metal band meeting? No. Am I ruining this is we're, right we're ruining someone's shot. Yeah. Oh, okay. you know I saw him there. Hug. It's, it's a new hug. Yeah. 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 This show oh, this is awesome. nice. I try to hit concerts most yeah. awesome. time I'm working. Yeah. 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 We suck. Yeah. And tell you the truth, the difference between black metal and death metal is the way you spell it. I don't notice any difference. I am here for the vagina. Since I came out of my mom's vagina, basically. That's all drummers are ever here for. Yeah, but you probably shouldn't waste fucking your memory cards until Steve gets here. You do want to save battery for Steve. That's true. What's your nickname? Heavy Metal Steve. Why do they call you Heavy Metal Steve? Because I'm metal. Where's your battery jacket?
because, I mean, you'll get moshed. It's, it's no, fun, though. No, you don't. It's very fun. Yeah. That's true. You get raped. But I gotta wear my right boots if I'm gonna go to a real <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm telling you, let's not potter on We're the shit! We're bring some shit, like, spikes and <laughs> armor and shit, you know, and then get in the mosh. But it's, you like, gotta I fucking be hard work. Nice. I have a headache. <laughs> I want, I just want to drink. Like, safe. Typically slow, melancholic, based on some bastardized version of, uh, like, No More James. Uh, Black Sabbath came out of the, you know, Birmingham acid blues scene. Doom metal is not just, uh, comprised of heavy metal, it's comprised of all kinds of metal. Like this. What makes you want to play Doom metal? Um, definitely the emotion. It's the emphasis of anguish. It's down tempo, it requires more patience. You kind of have to settle into it, but once you do, it's really hard to get out of it. And it kind of consumes you. You can take your time with it. It's almost, it's almost soothing in a violent way. I guess doom metal is the most Sabathian. My religious no views are know. black Sabbath. I feel like, like all like heavy music just like soothes me in a way, like the fast stuff and the slow stuff. It's just like I don't really, I can't really like explain why I like connect with like heavy music, but it's definitely a long-term relationship. No, I listen to. Lots of different, well, I mostly listen to like black metal doom and various non-metal stuff. I've been listening to Pat Walker, the guy from 40 Watts Done, his other band Warning for the longest time. And uh, the album they released, Watching From A Distance, is kind of like the most meaningful album to me ever. Metal, I think it's just, it's, it's, it's a heavier, more primal type of music. Um, but I think it's just as much focused on dynamics and melody and what have you as other forms of music, but just with more distortion, heaviness. More like yeah, mostly with doom metal. Yeah, like uh, the emotion like, yeah, that goes into it, down, uh, it's that really that raw. Fun, yeah. Yeah. Longing, <laughs> sadness, uh, victory, joy at times. I think the 40 Watt sign um, reminds me more of post metal, and warning reminds me a lot more of traditional funeral doom. Just something really dirge like, that, um, really slow, and very heavy on the emotion. I don't know how useful it is, though, to <laughs> ramble on about uh, genre classifications. I mean, it's almost interesting how metal heads just attempt to classify and subclassify. I'm not really sure why that is, but it almost seems to be particular to the genre. Doom metal? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, most prophets and scholars consider doom metal the chronological successor to Black Sabbath's 1971 record, Master of Reality. I don't know exactly what causes that like surge of adrenaline in me, but it makes me feel like I'm possessed by some kind of demon, and I want to stand up and dance like Lee Dorian, or strangle myself like Howard Witchfinder. I'm wearing sunglasses because in less than one half hour's time, I will be bawling my eyes out in front of the one and only Patrick Walker. <laughs> Oh, I love doom metal. It took me a while to get into it. Um, when I was young, I was exposed to a lot of doom metal. I was like, ah, too slow, gotta go. Um, but then as I grew into it, I was like, oh wait, this is actually brilliant. Um, so I, I could say I'm a pretty big doom metal fan. I'm pretty excited to be at this show right now. Um, my, well, my headbanging is a lot slower, that's for sure, which I enjoy now. Like, I just turned 30 recently, so it's a lot easier to headbang to doom metal than other kinds of metal because I don't have as many cramps or uh, bangovers as they 
say in the genre. Uh, you're kind of like, oh, and then you just kind of look down the whole day. It's really hard to ride a bike with a bang over. What does it mean? Uh, this particular show was really emotional for me. Uh, 40 Watt Sun's a very emotional band. Uh, they kind of sing about a lot of things that I've also experienced as far as like longing and loss and love that you'll never find, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, tonight's kind of a kind of a drain. I'm feeling emotional. I've got a lot of beer in me, and uh, like those songs are pretty powerful. So there's a chance, just a chance. Like you might see like a single tear. Uh, what brought me out was Patrick Walker. Yeah, uh, the dude. Like you know, I love Warning and I love 40 Watts on. So just seeing him. Uh, Somebody uh, who's born too late by St. Vitus. Yeah, exactly. Somebody uh, that's wearing hair, a bandana. <laughs> bandana, uh, denim jacket, maybe like a trouble patch right yeah, there. Yeah. Metal band? I don't know. I don't know. Fucking, uh, do you, if you listen to like, uh, Flower Traveling Band from Japan, you. Black Sabbath ripped them off? I mean, I don't know. I, I doubt they knew at the time. Black Sabbath 70s, Japan yeah. 60s. Black Sabbath would have never said that they were a heavy metal band, yeah. you know, like nobody they knew didn't. what that term was until somebody used it enough that it became something like Iron Maiden and Judas Priest where there was that definite benchmark well, yeah. between like the dual guitar rock of like Thin Lizzy and Wishbone Ash yes. and then you move into like this definitely like stage oriented like show. Yeah, show. But whereas now where you're like, well I'm going to be a black metal band or I'm going to be a doom metal band or I'm going to be grindcore. There's like boundaries to fall within. There's boundaries and then there's bands that will not fall to a boundary. I don't think most Good bands joke. care what style they're playing. They just want to play people like like they want to play something that people like. See, I disagree. I think now everything is so genre codified. It is really hard to play slow and maintain interest. I think to compose something that would sound good played fast, but then slow it down to where it would still sound good played slow. Say there's a grindcore song that somehow, God knows how, five minutes long, you have to have eight million words in the lyrics. With Doom, there's like eight lines of lyrics in a ten minute song. You have to really mean what you say, and people really pay attention to that. Like, a lot of the warning songs are about love and loss, and loss of life, and loss of this and that, and protecting what you care about. <laughs> Do you have a person that you think about when you listen to Warning or 40 Watt Sun? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's a... Definitely. Would you give up anything to be with that person again? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Fuck that person. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like going to the show? It's interesting. Just a little. Hey! Do you think that there's like a certain type of people at certain shows? Well, how would you describe the, the other people and fans that are at shows? You know, I, I really don't know because I always compare it to the bands I listened to in the, uh, the late 70s and the 80s, so it's different. You know, it's just different. It's a totally different kind of music. I mean, it, for me, well, I, 
won't go there. <laughs> it just seems like every generation just kind of amps it up a little bit. Yeah, a little heavy, a little heavier, a little, yeah, it's like, it's kind of funny because the stuff that was, you know, extreme back in his day, like Ozzy and Miss Gallagher, is kind of mainstream now. Uh, this is uh, the program I got with the VIP package. Hold it up for the crowd. Oh, yeah. yeah can, you, can you see this? It was $125. It came with a messenger bag. This t-shirt of a guy on the toilet, uh, a laminate that's personalized for the show, and a keychain, and a meet and greet. And I'd call it more of like a, a, here's a mouthful, a gothic alternative hard rock, gothic metal, uh, lacrimosa, dreadful shadows, uh, virgin black, savior machine, well, usually it's combined with uh, symphonic elements, you know, heavy use of keyboards, maybe some orchestra, it's usually more dark and depressive in tone, uh, the image is obviously, uh, I would say it either goes for like a more of a Victorian image or it's more uh, flamboyant in a sense with the makeup and the dyed hair and but so it bounces between maybe just eyeliner usually dyed hair black or white uh, I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to dye my hair yeah most of them are pretty nice uh, most of them seem to be musicians I play piano I'm not really a you know, big stickler with genre. I, I listen to what I, I like, basically. There's a wide range of bands that fall under that you know, umbrella term, progressive. There's, uh, you know, there's like Meshuggah, uh, there's Emperor, there's bands like uh, Periphery and Tesseract. Uh, you know, it's just an umbrella term that covers uh, a wide range of music. All Dream Theater, progressive metal, and sometimes just straight progressive. Um, Catatonia, previously would be Death Doom, now, I don't even know, I don't know, now they're more doomy, gothic, whatever you want to call it. Black Sabbath. Yeah, paranoid over, like, listened to it on loop over the summer, and then I got the, the self-titled, and then it was all that from there. I like a lot of bands from basically every area. My favorite is probably, well, and metalcore, and probably, um, if I had to pick, it would be power metal. I try not to judge things based on what genre it is. I try to listen to it, and if I like it, I'll listen to it, and if I don't, then I'll just move away from it. Depending on the band and how old they are, that's going to be a little different. I saw Heaven and Hell, and I was a bunch of old guys um, on stage and also in the audience. So, and compared to Opeth when I saw them, that was kind of a different. It just didn't age group, but behavior-wise, it was all basically. I'm 17. 16. 15. I'm actually 18 in college. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, borderline doom, depressive rock. And I couldn't really, I couldn't really get into what my favorite genre is. Probably, probably progressive. At least favorite genre? Like, country. Country, I suppose, yeah. Uh, very, very, very intricate. Very, very thought-provoking music, kind of like takes you out there, kind of music. I think that everybody, everybody is influenced by the music that they, that they listen to. <laughs> um, I'm very deeply personally influenced by the music that I listen to. It's very, uh, it's very introspective for me. It's like I was raised on bands like Dream Theater and, and Pink Floyd. I come out to these Rochester metal shows because the Buffalo scene's shitty. No, no, no. Oh, I wish I would do For now, it's, <sighs> it used to be cool. Everyone's like, oh, the good old days, 20 years ago. <laughs> but nowadays, it's not so great. Um, my older my brother. Dad. My dad. Me too. <laughs> metal people think it's cool that younger people are also I really, I've really never seen anywhere who younger matters. Power metal. I love power metal. I like power metal. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't like the like label stuff. Like this yeah. is not black metal. It's death metal. Or something. Yeah, it's just Some metal is metal. metal. Um, listen to metal because it's metal. Or just listen to good music. I'm sober. I'm sober. <laughs> I I have I personally find drugs disgusting, so I never do drugs. I ne I never gonna do alcohol or drugs during the show. So me first. I know for other people it's different, but for me, no, nothing like that. Ah, get out of here! Woo! Wow, that was like a firework. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Probably not. No.
I'm just here for the music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Watch. I'm not here to get high. <laughs> <laughs> and how and how how the how the human thirst for 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 thought provoking things, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. Just and if you started that, I did eight seconds of Evan Williams in a row because I was given a number between one and ten. I chose eight. So, uh, as long as you're saying stuff, I'm going to point at you and say stuff. This is an upside down cross because I believe in, I don't believe in Satan. Whatever, oh, no, everybody else can't do it. Whatever. Oh, Cheers. I, I don't enjoy walking, so you get put on easy. Well, when I started it, it was uh, definitely a lot smaller. I came in right in the middle of when it was gigantic, and then it died because of the whole black metal scene. I started with Cannibal Corpse in 89, and then it all died out. Kind of got into the punk thing for a while, but then it slowly, slowly came back. It's the most cool thing on the planet. It's the greatest form of music there is. It's the biggest thing and the smallest thing ever. I am a pit master. How about you? No, you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Best shit ever. Fucking pit and metal concerts. Fucking awesome. Somebody's bleeding. Can roll? Oh, brutal. That's the same thing. I don't know. Having fun and brutal. Taking out a lot of anger. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to bleed at the end. It, real, it relaxes me. I'm at that with Cannibal Corpse and Slayer. Definitely. Like the obituary. You know, they were together. Do so, you like... Yeah. Name your favorite bands. And it just pushed me in front of a fucking car. You didn't get hit. You're fine. Bands? Yeah. Something that's gonna fucking compare to what I'm at tonight. Country? <laughs> oh no, 80s. No, I just said 80s. I said country. Fuck you. Oh, geez, the 80s. You got a problem? Just walk and listen to Tesla. everything. Tesla. <laughs> 80s, 80s music. I don't understand why you said Tesla. To you know why? Because the wind. Because the white folks are this music. This is gonna be a like, boomer reel that you realize now because you just said that. When I was like. 12, 13 years old, I started listening to bands like Anthrax and Testament and, uh, you know, Metallica back in the 80s. So, that kind of just brought me up to this day and age. I'm almost 40 now and still listening to metal. For the most part because it's evil. <laughs> I like evil music. Um, Justin Bieber. He's evil as fuck. <laughs> I am excited. We're celebrating our anniversary. Are you really? That's the best anniversary celebration ever. What year? Fourth. Congratulations. But Halloween is actually the yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That's amazing. It didn't sound old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do like the black metal. There's, uh, personally, I think that there's a lot more harmonization and stuff like that going on with it. Um, plus the, uh, you know, the general feeling behind black metal is a bit more pure than I think a lot of the other genres going on. There's a gigantic difference in between each uh, each nuance of metal. Um, you know, black metal, you know, death metal, you know, grind core, all that, all that shit, you know. So yeah, it's very, it's difficult, you know. Once you hit it, once you hit black metal, you know, it just seems like a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of other bands just like a step down. Yeah. No, I don't go to many black metal shows actually. This is one of the few. Yeah. Uh, it's re I respect the black metal because there's a lot more blast beats. And it's really. Sometimes. <laughs> I started out listening to industrial. Industrial. Um, what got you from industrial to metal? Honestly, uh, I stopped taking mushrooms and acid, and uh, the music stopped making sense to me. So, do either of you have a favorite genre of metal? I'd say my favorite genre of metal is probably like melodic death metal, uh, because I think it's progressed so far as far as incorporating different types of music, you know, taking standard death metal and adding different elements to, you know, from progressive rock to black metal to, you know, hard rock, anything. It incorporates more progressive aspects. I think black metal does too, but as far as like death metal and melodic, <coughs> death metal I think it incorporates more progressive rock from like the 70s, which I'm a huge fan of. There's more kind of like musicality and less, less in, in black metal. Black metal's less about, you know, this. Yeah. Um, do you think that there's a difference between the people who would attend a black metal concert and the people who would attend a 
death metal concert? Not anymore. Maybe like in the early 90s there was, but not, not anymore. No. This is 2011. Um, a lot of people have the conception that metal is just, you know, Cookie Monster music and just, you know, rah, 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 with some inaudible you gotta, vocals. You gotta get out there and dig music. around for bands that are really good. There's a lot of innovators, you know, in the metal it's scene. Easy, it's easy to, to hear bands today. It's not, you know, it's not that easy to find something that you really like because all Western music is based on the same time signatures and the same elements. There's a certain element okay. that, that, that you have to have in music that comes out of the West, I guess, and rock, heavy metal, and country, and blues all share that. Uh, it's called uh, corpse paint. It's uh, something that uh, a lot of the second wave of black metal guys wore, so we take a lot of uh, inspiration from those guys, Burzum, Dark Throne, Mayhem. All those kind of guys. Oh yeah. I, mean, I listen to all kinds of music. You know? All you have to do is look at my vest. I've got thrash metal, black metal, death metal. I love Daft Punk for Christ's sake. I mean, I love everything. But once you really get into it, you start seeing the different, you know, different ways that stuff goes. But you know, if you're, if you're from the outside, you don't really see, you know, what all the differences are. I was raised Catholic, and all I have to say is you can't judge uh, an artist by what he does. You have to judge the art by the art itself. I mean, no one goes back and looks at Da Vinci and says, oh, what he did with his life was wrong. You have to look at the art itself and say, I appreciate this or I don't appreciate this. And that's just personal perspective. So you guys aren't burning churches or anything? No. Not anytime recently. <laughs> Yeah.